Watch the entire video my lovely viewers, I mean from start to finish, to get the whole thing. Without wasting much of your time, let's get right into it. Hi lovely viewers, it's me again, your one and only Mtati Mpundu. Welcome to my YouTube channel. If this is your first time on my channel, kindly subscribe to my YouTube channel by hitting the red subscribe button down below and turn the bell icon to join the notification squad. Don't forget to like, share and leave a comment. Tell me what you think about this video in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you lovely viewers. Good afternoon, Good afternoon. Sure. Uh, we just want to um, get a synopsis of your visit to the uh, police this morning and the events that uh, characterized your visit there. Mm. Yeah, as it is now common knowledge, uh, the police uh, detained our Secretary General in Kabwata yesterday and they kept him overnight. As of this morning, I wanted to go and check on him and ascertain the situation get to know why they will help him. Uh, our uh, member central committee responsible for the media and the public relations ambassador Mamba amongst many others went there this morning uh, to go and check on him but they didn't find him and uh, it is already common knowledge that they had removed him in the early hours to Chelsea police where subsequently of course he, he has been arrested and charged uh, and the given police bond, but uh, uh, in the aftermath of having taken him away from Kawata, no one knew where he was because there was no communication. And I think when Ambassador Mumba and the few other colleagues who were checking on him this morning insisted that they be told where he was, that's when an altercation arose where there was said it should have been an infringement of the law leading to the incarceration of uh, Mr. Mamba. So when that was brought to my attention, I rushed to Kabota police to check on the Ambassador Mamba to find out what's happening. Of course, by that time, they had already released the SG. And in the company of uh, our Vice President, Lubinda, I went to check on what the situation was. When we arrived there, of course, I told the police that we come in peace. We want to be here for a few minutes and just get to know why you are holding on to our man and uh, we are arresting him, let us know what charge and so that we can prepare ourselves with the policeman in charge. I don't know what his name is, what his rank is, just insisted that we shouldn't have been there. We are bringing confusion to the police station. It's better he deals with us from outside and so on. But since the lawyer was there, and uh, I was persuaded to leave the matter in the hands of the lawyer. But later I was told that uh, it is clear that the police were under instructions that they should not allow me, as long as it is me, Edgar Chagualumba, shouldn't be allowed access to the gentleman who was being held in the custody. But my response to this was, look, I'm a Zambian citizen, entitled to all the rights, Forget about the fact that I have been president previously. That neither takes away or adds anything to my rights. Uh, I should have been given the reason why they are holding him. An explanation would have been uh, sufficient. And if there was need for me to see him or not to see him, at that point he would have told me, come at 12.30 or wait until we deal with these matters and so on. I feel I was treated very badly. And then they were threatening that they would do calling reinforcements, of course, of policemen, and throw tear gas at us like in the morning. Uh, but my response to that was, I'm not afraid of being tear gas, I'm not afraid of being shot at, I'm not afraid of being shot dead. And I must make this very clear, that when I came back into politics, those of you who have good memory will remember that on the, that date in October 28, 2023, when we were commemorating the passing of Mr. Sata, I did say that I'm not afraid of being shot at. I'm not afraid of being killed in the process of doing what I'm doing. Because I believe in it. And the, so I'm telling the police that you hold your horses, 
the police men should hold their horses and behave in a civil manner. Because what will happen is that they might precipitate a situation where President HH is forced to give up power sooner than later, before 2026. I'm saying so because people will rise. You know, what I heard happened this morning when the police were tear gassing citizens in Kawata because they wanted to check on the Nakamura Brakachin who was incarcerated there. It's uncalled for. All they could have done was just explain to the people where Nakachinda was, get the information across to them without uh, trying to intimidate. The more they try to intimidate us in PF by being arrested, by being uh, cast, the more they annoy people. Let them focus on the real issues which are facing the government, the high cost of living, the drought which has come, and a lot of other things, poor health, I won't mention poor education because I don't want to trigger another controversy. But see, the truth of the matter is that uh, the government has enough work to do as opposed to fighting PF or the opposition. And I, as president of PF, will not allow a certain way to be dated by a race all over. Today is Nakachinda, tomorrow is Rubinda, the other day is Mwamba. You can arrest all of us if you want, but we will not relent because ours is to save the people and speak for the people. Some but you say, no, but you failed. Yes, we failed, but they've double failed if they such a way. Yeah. They've not done anything. You know, you cannot win political power by propaganda and deceit and form government and sustain it by propaganda and deceit. It doesn't work like that. If you win government by propaganda and deceit, immediately you form government. You should quit deceit, you should quit propaganda and stick on the truth. And let me go back to the people and say, what I said, what we said, was meant to just convince you to support us. Now that you have supported us, we can only do the following things and apologize to the people. That's what you do. You just can't keep on, you know, increasing, increasing the deceit and falsehoods, thinking that you are going to keep people at peace. People will riot. And when people riot, it won't be PF or P or any other political party inside them because they're tired. So let them focus. They still two and a half years to make good what they promise. And when they make good, people might forgive them and give them space in 2026. But if they continue harassing us, beating us, you know, you know, you know tear gassing us, it won't work. It won't help them. And I'm saying this because I wish them the way to go. I'm saying that. Even in matters of the heart, those of you are romantic, if I may use an example, you can coax again by giving a nice story, a romantic story, fantasy and all. When you get her close to you, begin showing the true color and the truth and apologize, and that was sweet talk. But now we are in real situations, this is what we can do and this is what we can't do. A lot of women are happily married, a lot of men are happily married after sweet talking their wives. But it's <laughs> when they wound up and say, no, the truth is that. I do not have what I promised, but what I promised was just part of the art and the game. But the most important thing is what I have for you is the following. Sanjans are not gullible. They can see that these guys are lying. But having lied their way to the office and gotten state power, they should stop lying and just own up and do the truthful thing. Police will not help them. Police will not help them keep power. Police will just help them lose power faster than the failures they have been calculated upon themselves and caused within them. Mm. Interesting. Your Excellency, as we, we, we end, what would be your message to PF members across the country? And if I may generalize it, members of the UCA Alliance, oh. which you okay. want to add. UCA is an alliance comprising eight now, nine political parties. PF is part of it. And I think I want to assure you that uh, we want to synchronize our relationship, come out with common positions, and then speak as one voice, act as one entity, and go to the ballot as one, starting from the grassroots. Uka has come to stay. Uka has come to stay. And PF is very much part of Uka. And anyone who has got issues with Uka, just wait, we will come and clarify because we intend to have a meeting between the Central Committee, members of Parliament, 
And indeed, the president and the vice president and others who had been discussed the ramifications of what UCA is and so on. PF remains a political party, and PF remains an associate or part of UCA, and together we will unseat this government in 2026 using law for means and be able to bring dignity to the Indian people again. Thank you. Alright, that's all for you today, lovely viewers. If you did enjoy the video, please don't forget to leave a comment in the comment section below. Tell me what you think about the video you just watched in the comment section below. I'll be super glad to hear from you, lovely viewers. Once again, I go by the name of Mutatim Pondum. I love you, peace. I gotta go.